starting with launched projectiles at an angle. So we're launching things at an angle now. Or the frog is hopping at an angle. So this cute little frog, let's give him some legs here and some eyes, leaps at an angle 60 degrees from the ground with a velocity of 5 meters per second. As always, we're going to separate this out into our VY and our VX, our VOX and our VOY, the original starting velocity. I am going to skip how to use the trig. I'm just going to simplify it. We always start with the hypotenuse times. This is opposite, so a sine of 60. And then our VX is cos of 60. So plug those into a calculator and you'll get 4.33 meters per second and 2.5 meters per second. So let's separate our X and our Y components here as we always do. VO acceleration time, PF, PO, PF, VO acceleration time. So we know our VOs for both. Our VO in our X direction is 2.5. Our VO in our Y direction is 4.33. We have initial starting points, positions of zero. We know there is a negative 9.8 acceleration due to gravity. In X, we're going to assume there's no air resistance. So the question is asking about maximum height. So remember that as something goes up, it must come down. We're looking for right here. The velocity at the top in the y direction is zero. So we're looking for our final velocity of zero. Let's change color just for that. So at the top, our final velocity is zero. And this is what we're trying to find. We don't have enough information to use our PF equation. So we're going to use our VF equation, our velocity equation. This one. We know that the final velocity is going to be zero. We know our initial velocity is 4.33. We know that gravity is ni negative 9.8. And we're trying to find the time, how long it reached, how long until the frog reached the maximum height. So move this over here. Divide this over here. And we're left with a time of 0.442, it's around that, 0.442 seconds. That is how long it takes for the frog to reach the maximum height. How long was the frog airborne? So now we're trying to find the time from X to XF. So if we are going to do this one, I'm just going to zoom out a bit, we need to know the time for the in the x equation. So really we don't need to use any of the velocity or the um, position equations because we know that it, the frog went up to here in 0 0.442 nope, seconds meaning it's also going to take 0.442 seconds to go back down. So we can just multiply time, uh, time twice. So we do 0 0.442 times 2 equals 0 0.884 seconds. That's it for that one. You could do it with equations, but just don't. It's easy. What was the maximum height the frog reached? So now we can use our PF equation. So PF equals PO plus VOT plus one half AT squared. We are looking about height, so we're going to use Y. <clears throat> PF is what we're looking for. We know it started on the ground. We also know the Y, zoom out to find that, the, the Y velocity was 4.33. We know that the maximum height took, again, skipping the 0 0.844, 884, but we know that it took 0.442 seconds 
to get to the top. And we can use one half gravity. And then we're going to multiply it by time again, 0 0.442 squared. Plug all of that into a calculator and you'll get your PF. And that gives us 0 0.956, 0 0.9565, so let's go with 6 meters. So it gets a little under a meter tall in its jump. How far from its launch point? So we're going for our x PF now. So PF equals PO plus VOT plus one half AT squared. We're looking for our final x. We know it started at zero. We can look back and know that it was 2.5. And the full length of time from XO to XF will be 0.88. 284 rather double the time plus a zero acceleration so zero times one half times t is still zero so we use our pf is 2.5 oops 2.5 times 0.884 what is happening with my calculator 0.884 which gives us 2.21. Really? 